Hello people, welcome back to Tom's Tip in Glorious HD. Oh, we hope it's HD. If it's HD, if, I can, if this continuous um, filming, it's HD. But if I'm going to edit it, we lose that because the editing uh, program won't do HD. Right then, this is just to explain one or two things from yesterday. I did the one yesterday. Well, actually, I didn't do it yesterday, I did it a long time ago. Uh, but it got lost somewhere and I reposted it yesterday. And it's created more questions than it's explained, so I'll try and put one or two things uh, right about that. Okay, now first of all, when you're doing a, a soldered joint, there are three things that's, uh, that's important or it's going to fail. One is that your copper is clean. Uh, when I say clean, it doesn't need to be shiny clean, but if there's, you know, if in doubt, give it a rub with a bit of wire wool. If you're a man plumber, if you're a girly plumber, you can use some of that, um, you know, that scoring pad or something. There, so you don't get in your your fingers and break your fingernails and all that shit. You know what I mean? Anyway, right. The first thing, it's got to be clean. Secondly, it's got to be fluxed, and the flux has got to cover every part of where it's soldered. Otherwise, if you miss a bit, uh, it won't solder because what the flux does. It's called self-cleaning flux, but it doesn't actually clean shit off it. It doesn't clean oil or debris or paint off it. But what it cleans is the oxidisation on the copper. If there's oxidisation, oxida if there's oxidisation on the copper, it won't, it won't solder. And also, when you put a flame on it, that encourages the oxidisation. So that's why. You've got to, the flux has got to touch everywhere. If your joint fails because you haven't fluxed it in an area, it's no good reheating it and putting uh, more solder in it. But you've got to take the, take the joint apart, clean it, and put it back. And the third one is the heat. You've got to have enough heat. If you've not got enough heat, then it won't go. You've got to have, you've got to have enough heat to melt that solder. And for it to accept it on that, it's got to be the right temperature or you're knackered. So anyway, the question was, if we did this vertical, this overeating thing vertical, would the solder run out of the fitting? No. The solder goes in the fitting because it's attracted by capillary attraction. And capillary attraction will attract you put solder at the base of that or the top of that and it'll attract it. It'll attract it all the way to there because there's a slight gap there and it can't bridge that gap. So then you've got to put some at the top, put some at the bottom. And that's what causes the joint. There's no capillary attraction down here. It will run down, the solder will run down there because just through gravity, but it won't um, it won't attract out. And I'm going to prove that now by making this joint, overheating it and then testing it. Right, so there's the joint in position. We're going to go for a close up here. Cameraman, close in. Doing your best. Right. Oh, come on. That's as far as I go. Oh, that's as far as I go. Okay, so we're going to first of all make the joint. And when I've made the joint, then I'm going to eat it till eat it till it takes to shake the holy of Jesus out of it. And then we'll see which one is like. So that's the joint bed.
So that's well overcooked. And you can see it's not run. Well, it has, there's a little bit run there, but there's no reason for it to run. It won't run down there now because there's that much oxidisation on that pipe now. It's all done, just won't stick to it at all. So it'll melt, but it won't stick because of the oxidisation. So we'll let that cool off and then we'll put some water to it. Tom's tips always does. We don't just tell you something, we prove it. But we have to let that cool down now. To speed things along, I suppose I could get a, a dip this cloth in a bit of water. Here we are now, a bit of water. I didn't stop the tape running because if I do, I'll use the uh, HD. And uh, so you'll know by the end of this, if it comes at your HD, it's as you've seen it. And if it's not, if it's been it shows I've been editing. And editing's like smoke and mirrors, isn't it? You know. Turn the water on. Okay, water's on that now. And I'll prove there's water on. Because wanted you to prove that there's water there. Okay, so overeating fittings is not harmful. It won't run out and uh, I hope that answers uh, all your questions.